Hello friends, how are you all today? Have you ever wondered uh, what are Jacobians and how uh, we can use Jacobians to solve the engineering problems? It's coming up right now. We understood that we can convert any operator, such as Laplacian operator, from one coordinate system into another coordinate system like this. These kind of problems are uh, quite uh, common in subjects such as uh, engineering physics, electromagnetic fields and waves, electromagnetic waves, etc. Let's move on. Now, uh, we shall study the conversion from Cartesian to cylindrical. If you look carefully, the cylindrical coordinate system is nothing but it's this plane coordinate system extended to 3D in three dimensions. So let's consider it back now. now. Now, uh, in this case, you can see to represent any point in space, instead of using its x, y, and z coordinates, we are going to use a different coordinate system. Let's say this is the point P which we want to represent. And it has three different coordinates. Uh, if you use XYZ coordinate system like uh, this, all the three coordinates are the distances. Instead of that, if you use this cylindrical coordinate system, we use one of them as angle. Right, R is a distance which is measured from the center. Phi is an angle measured with respect to the x axis, that's the phi. Okay, and the z is the height. So, from the original xy plane, whatever was the height, that is the z. So, one more thing to remember here the z in the polar, uh, not polar, sorry, cylindrical coordinate system is the same z which is used in the Cartesian coordinate system. All right, so to start with, let us directly use the transformation, right? The the transformation used we already know this we have used this already in the plane polar format so x is equal to r cos phi right y is equal to r sine phi and z is z itself okay now we'll be very quick through this because we have done this process many times. So this implies, I directly write this, that's dou by dou r is equal to, I can directly write cos phi into dou by dou x plus the sine phi into dou by dou y. Similarly, I can also write the dou by dou phi is nothing but minus r sine phi, sine phi, yeah, minus r sine phi, dou by dou x plus this is r cos phi dou by 
do by and the do by do z it is nothing but the do by do z itself all right so this is how you write normally we know how what to uh, what order uh, in what order we should apply the chain rule to get it so by applying the chain rule we get it. now how do you do uh, now what's the next step we are supposed to solve them simultaneously to get back to do by do x do by do y and do by do z here right this can be done easily right let me know if anybody has any doubt with related to this conversion process i directly write the answer after solving the uh, these above equations simultaneously solving simultaneous equations what we get we get the do by do x equal to do by do x is equal to we get cos phi do by do r minus sine phi by r into do by do phi similarly we get the do by do y in in terms of r phi and z that is sine phi do by do r plus cos phi by r into do by do phi and i get the do by do z equals to do by do z itself right so once you have the all these required values i can simply write the required jacobian okay now i can write the jacobian that is now you see this becomes the three called uh, three to three matrix okay x y z over i can write r phi and z this is equal to let's take a determinant right i'm supposed to write do x by do r do y by do r do z by do r right those values okay let me write them first this is do x by do r this is do y by do r this is do z by do r. then i write do x by do phi do y by do phi do y uh, right? do z by do phi right then the last one is do x by do z do y by do z do z by do z okay now let us substitute the values we got from the above set of equations right we know where to find those coordinates do x by do r is available next to the in the first first equation i will get that in the first equation over here just show this so do x by do r i get Okay. Okay. Not in. Not in. Sorry, my mistake. It's not in, in the, the do by do x. It's in the above equation. You see there. Yeah. yeah. This is the term which is do x by do r. Right. Do, do y by, by do r. Plus there is zero times do z by do r. So that, those are the values I'm going to. Get. Right. Then I need do x by do phi. Do y by do phi. Plus zero is the next term. Here I get zero as the first term, zero as the second term, and the last term is two by two. So it has a coefficient called one. All right, I'm going to use them here. 
So this is equal to, let's write the, sorry, SI is a determinant once again. It's a determinant of dou x by dou r, which is cos phi. Then we have dou y by dou r sine phi. There's no z term, so z. In the second equation, I can see that the coefficient what we have is minus r sine phi. Then we have r cos phi zero. And we have zero, zero, one. All right, so take a determinant of this. So we have the first term that is cos phi, cos phi into r cos phi, next is minus sine phi into this is minus r sine phi into one, then zero. So this means. This is equal to r into cos squared pi plus sin squared pi which is equal to 1. So I just have I'm just r. Right? We found the Jacobian corresponding to uh, the xyz coordinates compared to the r phi z coordinates. Very similarly, okay, we can solve the other way around. That is using the second set of equations we can directly write this the second set of equations all right so if i want to write uh, the jacobian that is corresponding to uh, r phi z x comma y comma z right then the Determinant I'm going to write should be dou r by dou x, dou r by dou x, dou phi by dou x, dou z by dou x. Then dou r by dou y, dou phi by dou y, and dou z by dou y. Then we have dou r by dou z, dou phi by dou z, dou z by dou z. Now let us substitute the values. So I'll just show you from where I'm substituting those values. Right? Just note that dou r by dou x, dou phi by dou x, dou z by dou x. I'm going to get the those values from these. Okay, so those values are cos phi minus sine phi by r, and I have a zero. Next is sine phi cos phi by r zero. Then we have zero, zero followed by zero by those. Okay, now let us substitute the values like this. So this is equal to this the determinant. I have cos phi minus sine phi by r zero. Then I have sine phi. This is cos phi by r zero 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 one. So let's take the determinant value. This is cos phi multiplied by cos phi by r minus zero then i have minus of minus plus sine phi by r into this is sine phi minus zero so i can see that this is equal to one by r into that cos squared pi plus n squared pi which is one now also we can verify that 
right? The, both the Jacobians, whenever you multiply, you get one. There is one by R here, R here, and one by R here. So when you multiply, you get one. That itself is the property. So property is uh, justified once again. Let's now quickly move on to the conversion of Cartesian coordinate system into the spherical. Okay, so that is. Now, this conversion requires a diagram such as this. So, here we use two angles and one distance to represent any point P in space. So, this is the point P in space. What are the three different coordinates that were used in the original x, y, z? All the distances, x, distance along y, and the distance along the z to reach that point. Now, when I use the polar coordinate system, we use one distance, that is a radial distance. That is what we have denoted like this radial distance. So that's uh, no, not that, sorry, my mistake. It's a radial distance measured from the center here to here. Okay, so that's the radial distance. And whenever I drop the distance, radial distance onto the xy plane, I originally get my pi. That's the phi. Okay, and the same radial distance r makes a polar angle. This is the new angle what we are adding denoted by theta, right? That's why it is called as a polar angle. It's angle made with the pole. That's the original z axis. So each of the x, y, z, we want to convert that into r theta. All right, so that's our opportunity here now. So very similar to the previous case, directly let's jump on to the, uh, the transformation. The transformation used is as follows the x coordinate can be represented as r sine theta cos phi the y coordinate can be obtained like this that is r sine theta sine phi and the z coordinate can be obtained by r cos theta. So these are the standard transformations we use to represent x in terms of r, theta, and phi. Right. We already know that in order to uh, get the Jacobian, I need to write the dou by dou r, dou by dou theta, and dou by dou phi. And I'm going to use the chain rule to do that and I may I substitute. So we are already familiar with the steps. So I skip writing the intermediate step. I directly write the uh, substitution substituted values to the chain rule. Okay, so uh, the do by do r is equal to do x by dou r into dou by dou x. Dou x by dou r, I can write it as sine theta cos phi, okay, into dou by dou x plus next term, that is sine theta sine phi dou by dou y plus this is cos theta into dou by dou z. 
let me write the next equation that is dou by dou theta dou by dou theta is equal to dou x by dou theta into dou by dou x plus dou y by dou theta into dou by dou y plus dou z by dou theta into dou by dou z. This is what I, I want to write out of which I substitute for known values that is r cos theta cos phi. This is dou by dou x plus this is r cos theta sin phi dou by dou y minus r sin theta dou by dou z that is then the last one is dou by dou phi this is equal to so it's a with respect to phi so when i write with respect to dou by dou z i i'm going to get a zero okay so this is minus r sin theta sin phi into dou by dou x all right plus r sin theta cos phi dou by dou y plus the last term becomes equal to zero okay. this is one set of equation which we can write similarly by if you want to solve it simultaneously we can solve right and get the other half again we are very familiar with the process so i skip the steps directly i'm going to give you the answer when you solve these steps if you have any doubt you can contact me anytime to get the answers for the solution of the simultaneous equations okay so solving simultaneously we get the equations that are dou by dou x equals to this is sine theta cos phi dou by dou r plus 1 by r cos theta cos phi dou by dou theta minus sin phi by r sin theta into this is dou by dou phi that's the first equation we get then when we write the dou by dou y we get sine theta sine phi dou by dou r plus cos theta sine phi by r dou by dou theta plus cos phi divided by r sine theta this is dou by dou phi then we have dou by dou z equals to cos theta dou by dou r minus sine theta by r dou by dou theta right so these equations uh, the solution we got after so simultaneously solving the three other equations using these three these three plus three six equations we can simply <coughs> calculate uh, the required values 
right they are the jacobians right now i directly write the jacobian value we get that is the whatever jacobian you are going to get for x comma y comma z with respect to r comma y comma r comma theta comma phi r theta phi this comes to be right i'm going to substitute the values like do x by do r do x by do theta do x by do phi then do y by do r do y by do theta do y by do phi the last one is do z by do r do z by do theta and do z by do phi okay so from these equations i'll, I'll show you here what we are writing so do x by do r is what we get from the above set of equations these are okay, this is do x by do r do y by do r do z by do r right this is do x by do theta do y by do theta do z by do theta then do x by do phi do y by do phi and the last term becomes equal to z all right so let us write the values here so right so this is equal to sine theta cos phi r cos theta cos phi minus r sine theta sine phi over sine theta cos phi r cos theta sin phi r sin theta cos phi cos theta minus r sin theta and the zero take a determinant of this okay we need to take the <coughs> determinant of this right again it's a very standard procedure we can do that and when we do so we get the answer r squared sine theta okay now we need to do the other way around that is I want to calculate the Jacobian R theta phi over x, y, z. So this can be simply calculated as do R by do x, do R by do y, do R by do z. Then do theta by do x do theta by do y do theta by do z then do phi by do x do phi by do y 
verify my OZ. Z determined. Right? So I'll show you from where we are substituting the values to this. So we are going to substitute the values directly from these equations. We can see them very clearly over here. So the equations are so we'll be substituting do r by do x, do r by do y, do r y. Is it I think I just I'll correct my statement. So this is do r by do x, do r by do y, do r by do z. Okay, do r by this is do theta by do x, do theta by do y do theta by do z do phi by do x do phi by do y and zero as the last okay all right let's substitute so this is equal to now I want to write do r by do x that is sine theta cos phi. Then I want to write sine theta sine phi. Then I want to write cos theta. The next term is. 1 by r cos theta cos phi then cos theta sin phi by r or I can write 1 by r into minus 1 by r sin theta Okay, and the last term is nothing but minus 1 by r sine phi by sine theta. Next one is 1 by r cos of phi by sine theta. And the last term is 0. Okay, again, this is a very standard uh, determinant, 3 cross 3 determinant. We can apply the basics and solve. And when we solve, we get 1 divided by r squared into sine theta. All right, so we can verify that this answer matches with the uh, standard property of Jacobian <coughs> sorry by just multiplication of the Jacobian we got in the previous step with the present one we get answer equal to one that's the verification of the property